Right, welcome to this week's match winning blog. This week, I've just got three matches to talk about from last week, starting with Wednesday, which was a Fishermania qualifier at a lovely Moorlands farm in Kidderminster. And on the day, I've actually drew a lovely looking peg, to be fair, peg two on High Meadow. Now, anyone who uh, has been to Moorlands before, this used to be called Silver this late, so this is the late with a lot of F1s in, and it's the end peg, peg two. So, really happy with that. Um, knew from I've actually fished that late before, and I knew that there was a lot of F1s to be caught, um, mainly fishing in the edges and shallow. And I thought I had half a chance to be fair. End peg, bit of wind blowing in. Um, it was just fingers crossed that they had a good feed on the day. So, um, in terms of me setup on the day, what I decided to fish. Um, there's an eight pint bait limit at Moreland, so because I don't go there a lot, it's hard to actually make your mind up what baits bring with you and. Um, all I thought I'd do is just stick to the baits that I know have been working at the venues I've been going. So I took some worms with me and I took some casters. And then I also took a few micro pellets just so that if I wanted to make, you know, something happen, I wanted to pop some bait in to try and draw some fish in my peg. I did also take one bag of fishery micro pellets. So that was my bait. Dead simple. Um, I was going to start on pellets quickly in the edge. Well, I fed my shallow line with casters and hopefully catch well late on in the edge on worms. That was my main plan. Um, just fishing for mainly F1s on here. So that was my sort of general approach. Like I'm here at Partridge and like worms and casters and baits like that have been working really well for F1s. And when I went to Tunnel a couple of weeks ago, so I thought stick to what I know and go from there. A lot of people told me maggots and meat and baits like that, but um, I just weren't sure, so I just went with the baits I was confident in. So, basically, I've had a few fish in the edge to me right to start with. Just found a wrap about 18 inch of water, fed Mike as an expander, um, caught sort of five fish the first hour um, while I was feeding my caster line. Went in on casters and actually had a good little run, to be fair. I caught four or five really quick and I thought, here we go, this could be brilliant. And then I literally couldn't get a bite shallow and that... I might have caught maybe seven fish on it all in total. I might have had two more. And I probably spent a good half an hour more on it trying to catch them. And I shouldn't have really. I should have come straight off it and just fished up my edge. And, um, I just don't think there was a lot of fish to be caught shallow on the day. Not enough fish feeding to compete for up. So, bit of a mistake to be fair. Um, but you have to try and win the match when you go on these qualifiers. So, fishing you know, methods like shallow. It's always going to give you a good chance of catching a big weight. So that's why I tried to make it work. But unfortunately on the day, it didn't. So then in the end, I basically just ended up fishing the last couple of hours. So the last half of the match, just fishing in the edge to my right with worms. And feeding a few micro pellets, some worms. And just fishing a sort of a head of a worm on the hook. And I've had a nice run of fish. It's sort of steady away. I've not really caught loads when I first gone in on worms. But... It's sort of slowly got better until the sort of last hour where I've had a really good run in the edge. Like, not had loads of fish. It's not been solid, but I've had a you know a decent run of fish, and there was some fish coming in my peg, and I ended up with around 50 fish, which went 88 pounds, which won the lake. But unfortunately, on the day, Bank Pool had all the weights. Um, Lee Farmer won the match, mushy off peg, eight on bank. I think he had 114 pounds. Some nice carp on meat short, and. Uh, Looking back, I don't think I could have caught that. So, well done to Mushy on the win. Really enjoyable days fishing. Happy to win me lake. I think I also come sixth overall in the match. So, decent day out. Really enjoyed it. Be looking forward to going back to Moorlands again next year if they have another qualifier. So, yeah. So, next match I want to talk about is Saturday's open match. I come to Partridge Lakes for the open on, I think, two to four and late six. And I actually drew peg 155 on late six, which is, a, again, another quite good peg, to be fair. Um, fancy late six as well, because it had been fishing all right. Like, late two to four have been... The weights haven't been great for what you'd expect at this time of year. And I know Andy Bennett through the week had won a match with a good weight off late six. So I was really happy to be on late six. And again, my main approach was just going to be casters and worms. And I've just literally... I've loose fed some casters across to the reeds to hopefully catch up and down I threw some casters and potted a few worms in down the edge to my left and then i've just potted a bit of flakes pole mix ground bait in the mud line just in case a few fish did want to come in the mud because the mud can be brilliant on lake six there's a lot of carp in that lake and when they want to feed it can be brilliant in the mud so did want to feed a bit of bait there as well 
but as it's turned out, I've sort of not really caught a lot for the first 40 minutes while I was feeding my lines. I had a go in the mud, nothing come in. Um, but then I've dropped in on my caster line across, just fishing with a piece of worm on the hook or two casters on the hook. I've just caught steady away in sort of two and a half foot of water, some little stockies and a very odd carp. It wasn't, again, wasn't solid, but I was looking around and no one was really catching a lot of fish on my lake. So I just kept, you know, going with my head down, catching what I could. And I've just had a steady match. I did manage to nick three decent carp in the mud, sort of halfway through. I looked up, I've been feeding it, and I looked up and I seen a tail. I went in and caught three carp, and then I've not had another bite there the rest of the day. But it's been well worth doing, because they were three chunky carp. So, well worth feeding a bit of bait in the shallow water. And then, so, the last 40 minutes, I've gone in the edge and caught another five, six decent carp down there. Just throwing some casters and fishing worms on the up. And I ended up with about 45 fish, um, which have got 83 pounds which won the lake and put me second in the match so really happy with that Steve Openshaw actually won the match and now he's a man who's absolutely on fire here at Parkridge and like I say he's been fishing in a very similar way fishing with casters and he actually drew peg 27 and he won the match with 115 pounds so well done Steve um awesome uh I think he smashed that late that day. I don't think anyone else caught away anywhere near him on the lake. So to win the you know match off late two was an awesome performance. He shows he's got it banged on. So well done, Steve. Um, and then the final match to talk about is Sunday's match. And I went to Lindome Lakes for the Golden Reel qualifier. Love going to Lindome. It's one of my favourite venues. Absolutely solid with fish. All the lakes are brilliant. Um, brilliant facilities, cafe, tackle shop. I just love going there. And, you know, every time there's a qualifier, every time there's a chance to go, I always book on and go. It's brilliant. And on the day, Phil did the draw and he drew me peg 14 on Bonsai. Again, another good peg, an end peg. Um, like on Bonsai, there's actually a little section from sort of pegs. I think it's about peg four down to 12, where it's sectioned off and only the people in the caravans can fish there. So peg 14 is the first peg that's in. And so there's a bit of a gap to me left. So I was really happy to be there. But actually, when I sat down, um, the caravanners were fishing to me left. So peg 12 was fishing. So I didn't feel like... You know, as optimistic as I was when I first drew it, but I still didn't think it mattered too much. I know it's still quite a good area, so I was going there quite optimistic again of a good day's fishing. Because it's been so warm, again, I'm just going to stick to my caster and worm approach just because I knew it'd been working and I felt like mainly fishing up in the water was going to be the key. If I'm going to catch a big weight and qualify, I needed to catch shallow. So basically, I started short on pellets and then I was just loose feeding casters across to the tree on the far bank and I just knew I needed to give that as long as possible to prime it before I went out and hopefully I could catch there for most of the day. I did also feed some casters and worms in the edges as well but as on the day they didn't really work. I caught one perch down the edge it wasn't very good but basically I spent most of the day after my first 40 minutes fishing short where I caught one car just fishing long, fishing shallow, uh, loose feeding casters and fishing a little dibber rig with a piece of worm head on the hook just sort of laying my rig against the tree and pushing it as close to the tree as you can and feeding every now and again you'd nick a carp like that but if not just fishing just short and slapping my rig in front of the tree and I was catching steady away with nice F1s and I just had a nice day's fishing catching about 60 fish for £115 which managed to win bonsai on the day but unfortunately the other lakes have fished a lot better um, so Willows won the match actually pegged 49 I think Andy Bennett he won the match with £197. Now, that was never possible off our lake on the day. Um, that's a massive weight, especially the way it's fished, and everywhere's been fishing quite hard. So, massive well done to Andy on another final. And then, I think there was £170 on Willers as well, and then £150 and £140 on Laurel. So, the venue fished quite well on the day. All the lakes had sort of £100 weight. So, it was a really good day. Um, again, well done to Andy. So... That was all my matches that I fished this week. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's match winning blog. Um, going forward this week, I'm really busy. I've got a few matches at Partridge. I've got a Golden Reel qualifier and I'm going to the Oaks on Sunday. So I've got a good little bit of matches to catch up on next week. And then the following week, I've actually got uh, the Tunnel Barn Masters coming up. So what I'm going to be planning on doing uh, at Tunnel Barn is I'm going to try and do a three-day breakdown of all my matches, talk about how I've caught on each peg, show you all the rigs, talk about bait selection. So that's a video that's going to be coming out soon, so don't miss that one. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, then leave a like rating and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again for another match winning blog.